Hi everyone, welcome to today's Quick Tips video. In today's video, I will show you how you can easily collect and consolidate your Adobe Premiere Pro project. This method also allows you to share your projects really easily. So whether you're switching computers or whether you need to collaborate with a colleague, this is a fantastic method. When working on a project, I'm sure we can all relate, we tend to grab footage from different locations on our computer. I'm sure we're all guilty of leaving things in our downloads folder whether that's stock footage or music. Additionally, we may also be recording voiceovers. So as you can imagine, you have footage all over the place. In today's video, I will show you how you can quickly consolidate and have everything saved in the one folder. I will then take you through and show you how you can easily save this to any location and even share this with your colleagues really easily. So then there's no time wasted trying to locate footage and clicking on the locate button in Premiere Pro. Alright, so what you're seeing on screen in here is the way that I've organized my footage in here is using the free form view. I personally really love this option because it's sort of like a storyboard where you can stack your clips and just organize it better. Great, so let's go back to our timeline in here. As you can see, I've pulled clips from all over the place and I have various voiceovers in here, motion graphics templates, intro videos, etc. Great, so let's do this. Click on file and simply click on project manager. As you can see, I've been really extremely lazy and I haven't even bothered to change the name of my sequence. But moving along, notice in here by default, it has selected collect files and copy to new location. Then over the right hand side, notice how you have options. We will go ahead and just leave the defaults, but let's have a look at them. Notice how you have exclude unused clips. This is fantastic because most of the time when you're editing, there will be a bunch of, let's say, voiceover recordings. Let's say you've um, done a voiceover numerous times. You don't need the access unused ones in there, so this is a great option. Next, you can see that you can include audio files, okay? Next, you can also include preview files. And finally, there's rename media files to match clip names. So you can see in here, all of these default options are exactly what you need. And the next step, you just basically choose a location. So wherever you'd like to drop this. This is an added bonus for those of you that want to see how you can save this to your Creative Cloud files. In my internal team, notice how we have a shared folder. So in our shared folder, what's great is right from our desktop, we can have a look at all of our files and consolidate everyone's projects. And here I'll navigate to Creative Cloud Files. Next, I am just going to find the folder that I would like to save the project files to. And then next, what you can do is at the very bottom, notice how you can calculate the disk space. This is a fantastic feature, which allows you to see how much space you need in case you're low on storage. And then just click OK. So that's it. That's how easy it was. Now navigate to the Creative Cloud files or wherever you saved it and notice how there will be a folder. Inside the folder, notice how it has neatly packed every single footage that you've used. So every screen recording, every stock footage, every voiceover. Pretty cool. Now, if you wanted to have a look, just double tap on the Premiere Pro project file. Now when you open up the project, notice how everything is synced, you have every single clip in there. So as mentioned, in this particular method, you have saved it to your Creative Cloud files. If you have shared the folder with your team members, all they need to do is just navigate to their Creative Cloud folder and they can literally open up a Premiere profile and they will have the project in their hands just like that. With every single clip in there, there's no need for them to locate any files. So as mentioned, this is a perfect way in which you can consolidate and save all your files so you have everything at the one place. It is fantastic if you need to archive, for instance, let's say you've finished your project and you needed to archive this better at your organization, I would highly recommend using this method. 
And finally, if you want, you can also compress the folder. That way it just makes it easier if you're passing it on to someone else and they need to download this locally to their machine. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.